everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm just gonna run through the zodiac signs tonight. Happy birthday to all of you Pisces out there. Um, nice to see you all. So our lineup's gonna be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ophiuchus, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius will be last of the night. If you wanna check out this order, um, see the Key Facebook uh, page. And uh, yeah, all right, let's say a quick blessing and we're gonna get started with Pisces. All right, Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All right, for our Pisces, we're gonna start with this Tarot of Wonderland. I hope you guys are doing well. And happy birthday, if it has been your birthday, it is your birthday or it's about to be, huh? Yeah. We got the star card for Pisces, nicely done. So the star is the card of Aquarius. Let's see if I can move this down so you guys can see a little better. Yeah, kinda, maybe, sure. Um, so the star card is the card of Aquarius, but it's about blessings, it's divine blessings, it's something that is put on your path that makes sense. And this is so funny, I've got this other deck just sitting up here and there's the star card right on top of that too. Good job, you. All right, this is uh, about divine blessings that can't be taken away from you. I always think of the star card as Pandora's box. You open it, uh, it unleashes the good, the bad, and the ugly of who you are, what's meant to be yours, what's on your divine path. Um, you're about to receive some news this week, Pisces. Um, one second. And ah, it could be related to finances or something. This could be something that helps in a situation. It feels like if it's not about your finances, this is something you've been really worried about. Um, it feels like you're waiting on a message to come through this week, um, waiting on some kind of communication. Um, I've got the judgment card out here on its side. You're not really sure what's going to happen in this situation. There's some fear-based emotions surrounding this. I don't know if you're the one that's sending a message or if you're waiting to receive this message. Um, there's this concern for some of you. I've got Sagittarius energy here and Leo energy here. I've got temperance and strength here. Um, there's a concern for some of you that either something is not going to be reciprocated or that something's not going to be fair or balanced in some way, or maybe it hasn't been in the past. You may have asked someone for a raise or something like that. Um, and just kind of waiting to see if this is going to go the way you want it to go. Mm, hold on one second. I'm going to clarify. You've got a lot of major arcana on here. You've got one, two, three, four, five out of um, seven cards out here that are majors. That tells me that this is kind of an important week for you, Pisces. Um, let me let me just, and I feel like this may be related to your work life. For some of you, this may be about physically relocating. Some of you may be waiting on a deal with a house um, that you're looking to buy or rent. For some of you, this is about um, maybe asking for more money. Let me get this other deck and clarify. We're gonna use this vice versa tarot, seeing as how we've already started using it. It's printed on both sides, great little deck. Um, Pisces, I feel like this timing is good for you right now. I feel like you're about, I think you're going to be excited by this communication that you receive. I think this is going to set things in motion. I think this is going to set things right for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we have the Eight of Pentacles out there twice. I love it when you guys give me repeat cards, especially um, in these little short readings. This tells me which energies are the most important to you. Eight of Pentacles is a card that relates to your work life. This is some, and I've got the Temperance out there too. Oh, some of you may be um, wanting to start your own business. Um, for those of you who are in business for yourselves, um, this looks like a really profitable week for you. I feel like there's been a lot of nose to the grindstone for whoever I'm talking to here and with this eight of pentacles out twice i feel like you're making your dreams happen you're making your dreams become a reality 
Oh, it looks so good. And waiting for this message has been difficult. Waiting for this change has been difficult. And I've got the Six of Swords out there again, too. Wow. So you've got two, three sets of repeats already, Pisces. Good job. Um, this Six of Swords is, again, about physical relocation or moving on. Some of you may have um, kind of put your foot down in an employment situation where you said, you know what, if something doesn't change, if I don't see a better deal, if I don't see more money, if, this, if something doesn't change for the better, I'm out. Um, let's see. Some of you may be considering going into business for yourselves. I have, um, the queen of cups here. That's cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. That's you. Um, someone who's looking to go off onto some, into something on their own. And this, if, if that's the case, you've made a plan and you're ready to go. It's just really, it's really about you trusting yourself, Pisces. What is this temp? Okay. Um, your biggest concern is having to do this on your own. Your biggest concern is feeling like you may not have what it takes. I feel like you do. I feel like whoever you are, you have a plan here. And I feel like the right partnerships are going to unfold as soon as you take this, as soon as you make this leap into doing whatever it is you want to do here. This Nine of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. It's asking you to trust yourself. That is an energy of um, being in business for oneself. Um, whoever this, if, if you're asking for um, more money from an employer, you're going to be given some kind of a contract this week. And I don't think it's going to be everything that you want, um, but it's, it's going to give you an opportunity to make a decision. I think that's really what you're looking to do here is to make a decision about something here this week, Pisces. And... It's, it's really six and one half dozen here. It's like, either, I feel like I'm talking to someone who's either going to be staying in a situation only if they get a better deal. And if they don't get a better deal, they're going to head off on their own. And I feel like both, if, if you do get a good deal here, I think you're going to be in a good spot. But if not, I feel like you're prepared to just head out on your own. You have a lot of creativity within you. Um... Yeah, and uh, honestly, the, this is such great news. I get so, I'm such a dork. I get so excited about stuff. But this Ace of Pentacles is my favorite card to get in any reading. It's a solid beginning that you can believe in. If you've been questioning whether you have what it takes, whether whether you have um, everything that you need, the resources or the plan that you need, you do. And you're someone who knows a good thing when you see it. You should trust in yourself, Pisces. There's a lot of happiness coming for you. There's your card right there with the hanged man. It feels like you've been waiting on someone else to help you make this decision. Um, if that's the case, I feel like this decision gets made either this week or within the next month. This is coming, Pisces. Um, this, you may... Mm, I feel like you're waiting to hear back for a, about a contract and I'm not sure you're going to be 100% thrilled with it if that's the case. And if and if you're not 100% thrilled, I think you're ready to kind of just go in, all in on your own. And if you choose to do that, just trust in yourself. You have a lot of abilities here. People love you. People love what you have to offer. There's a lot of good stuff here this week coming in for you, Pisces. It feels like you're waiting um, on some kind of a message and I feel like that message comes through. It may help you relocate. It help, may help you move on. Um, and I feel like you're about to be blessed with a lot of abundance here, financial abundance, but also creative abundance as well. And it's because you've put in a lot of work on whatever it is that you do. Um, I feel like you may specialize in something. I feel like whatever you do, you're very good at and other people know that you're good at it. And it's not just because it's a God-given talent, and I'm sure that it is, but it's also it also has a lot to do with how hard you work. Yeah, for sure. All right, believe in yourself, Pisces. That was your reading for this week. Um, I appreciate you letting me read your cards for you. And happy birthday to you. If it has been your birthday, you deserve it. You deserve all the very best things. All right, I love you very much. Next up, we have Cancer. I'm going to slide these aside and grab a different deck. We're going to use this traditional Rider weight for Cancer. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for joining me and letting me read your cards. All right, what do we have for our Cancerians today?
goodness, we got a lot for you guys. Hold on, a couple more. Okay, good, good, good. All right, bottom of the deck. You may also be waiting on some messages or some information. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me just, let me just. Ay, yeah, yeah. you're so tired of waiting on a situation. Sick of waiting, sick of waiting. Really, really tired of it. Some of you may be waiting to make a decision, a major decision in your love life. Um, for some of you, this was a relationship that you walked away from some time ago. They came back to you. They said, I want to work this out with you. I feel like you waited. Honestly, this has been a lot of drama in your life. And I'm not sure if it's been drama in your life or if you were just really upset without them. Hold on one second. I'm going to clarify. Yeah, some of you were pretty unhappy on your own apart from this person, Cancer. Um, you've been dealing with a lot of stress and a lot of worries. There's a lot going on here and it's not all related to the same situation. A lot of you are going through really difficult, challenging times right now and you're tired of waiting for things to get better. Um, a lot of you have a major love relationship cancer that is like right in the middle of your spread here with this lover's card. That's the card of Gemini. And I've got the hangman over here, which is Piscean energy. But I feel like this is an energy of you having waited long enough on somebody to figure it out, to get all their ducks in a row, whatever needs to happen. Ah. Oh, geez, this is so cute. All right, so if this is relating to your love life, Cancer, I feel like the person that you have kind of been holding on to, and it feels like you've been holding on, I don't know if it's from a distance or what, it feels like they're ready to start all over again. They have rebalanced themselves and they're ready to open their heart to you. They're ready to actually offer their heart to you, whatever that means for you. Um, this Four of Wands here is that Twin Flame 1111 Awakening card, but it also relates to stability within our physical body, the four walls of our home, and it's also a card of marriage. The person that's coming towards you, they recognize what they've put you through. And I feel like you've been through a lot with this person, but I feel like you've also been through a lot just kind of on your own as well. Just kind of doing your best to get through things. And I don't think it's been an easy winter for you. There's been a lot of stress, a lot of heartache, and a lot of anxiety. Um, and this person wants to come in, they want to help fix this. They want to help fix this. I feel like you are ready and I feel like this other person is ready. This person's had some kind of a wake up call with this judgment energy. That's kind of resurrection energy. This person's coming back from wherever it was that you left them because at one point you did leave them behind. At one point you walked away from them um, and you didn't really like anyone else that had been you'd been offered um, or that had crossed your path, I guess I should say. Um, and now this person's coming back towards you. It feels like there's been a rebalancing of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what happened here. Let me grab this deck. I feel like you guys are just in the right place at the right time now. And that's good. You're both kind of ready for the same things that you may not have been in the past. And it feels like now you are. Got that emperor on the top of the deck right there. That's um, divine masculine energy, but that's someone who in the past, they were largely unaware of their responsibilities in this relationship. They may have turned their back on you. They may not have been able to give you everything that you needed in this relationship, Cancer, when you first met them. That may be why you chose to walk away from them and it feels like you never really let go of them. And it seems like they're ready to come back towards you here. I've got the nine of swords here twice. This is mental imprisonment, right? This is someone who kind of can't get out of their head. This may have been you. This may have been this other person. Um, the two of you couldn't get each other off of your minds here. And that's why you're coming back together. This person says, can't we start all over again? I have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy there with that king of cups. And with this knight of cups here too. Um, this person wants to talk to you about settling down. They want to make a commitment to you. They're not sure how you're going to react to that. I 
I have the justice card that comes out on its side. You may be waiting for this person to free themselves up. This person may have recently been through a divorce. You may have recently been through a divorce cancer, or there may be something like that going on for you. There may be legal challenges that you've both been through or one of you have been through within the last month or so. And I have that Ace of Swords on the top there. And look at you, cutie pies with the lovers out there twice. I have reconciliation energy there with that Three of Cups. And I have this Sun card that comes out here. This is somebody who's ready for healing. This is the happiest card we have in the entire deck. It's beautiful energy you have coming towards you. If you've been dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety within the last month, Cancer, I feel like this is starting to alleviate itself. And I feel like there is a partner that you left behind at one point who's ready to reconcile with you and start all over again. This person feels like they have a lot to offer to you. Um, they're not entirely sure that you're going to take them back. Let me see how you feel about this situation. Because I feel like... I think you feel pretty good about this person because you never gave up on them. And I've got the fool card out there again. There you have it. This is somebody who says, you know what? I trust you and I trust in your intentions towards me and I'm ready to move forward. You may end up marrying this person, Cancer. Mm -hmm. or they may have intentions of doing so with you. I think they're not really sure how you're going to receive them, but they want to send you a message. I would be expecting this message because you have this Ace of Swords out here twice. You have this Nine of Swords out here twice. You've got the Fool card out there twice. Any other repeats? Yeah, and the Lovers out there twice. This is a major choice coming towards you in your love life, Cancer, and it feels like they're a little bit nervous about how you're going to take this. I think you're going to take it well. I think you've kind of been wishing on the same star they have for one another. It's very cute. It's very sweet. I love it. This person does feel like they didn't do the right thing by you initially, and now they want to fix that. All right, that was your reading for this week, Cancer. Thank you very much for letting me read your cards for you. Um, that's beautiful energy that you have coming towards you and you deserve it. I can see a lot of you have been through an awful lot within the last month. So God bless you and um, I hope things improve um, rapidly and I think they will. All right, next up we have Scorpio. Scorpio, I want to use um, this Marielle Tarot for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, Scorpio. Some of you are trying to get over some kind of an ending, could be in your love life, could be in your career. Um, you're kind of obsessively worrying about this situation. Uh, aw. Well, yeah, something wasn't fair, something wasn't right. You have a lot of similar cards to Pisces. Um, I have the star card out here. I have the six of pentacles, the page of wands, the ace of pentacles, and the three of swords in the reverse. Yeah, that's gonna go over there. Um, Let me get another deck to clarify this because um, this devil energy is Capricorn energy, Scorpio, but it, it really does feel like obsessive energy to me. And I feel like it's kind of coming from you. I think that you're very upset about something. I think that you're worried that you weren't treated fairly um, in some kind of an ending here. Could have been in work, could have been in your love life. Um, somebody here really believed that this was someone that was meant for them, but it never, it was just, there was an energy of immaturity here. It never quite got off the ground and some way. I'm not sure what happened here. Um, what you don't know, <laughs> Scorpio, is that you have a new beginning coming towards you, whoever you are. Um, and it's going to feel a lot healthier. It's going to feel a lot more balanced. It's going to feel a lot more authentic to you. Something here... It was like you were meant to experience this relationship and you were meant to experience this ending in the way that it happened because it was meant to teach you about what you deserved and about who you really are. With this Six of Pentacles that comes out on its side, that's someone who wasn't able to give you the things that you needed or, or vice versa. And there's um, kind of a reconciling of that within yourself. Let me grab this uh, Tarot of Wonderland to clarify this. Yeah, and you got tired of always trying to make this situation or this person work for you. Um, it, it feels like someone who was always kind of either having to chase after someone or hoping that things would get better. It feels like there was an ending. It feels like you're starting to heal from this ending. That's the Three of Swords energy in the reverse. 
And I feel like, there we go. I feel like someone is about to message you and want to start something new with you. Okay. Yeah, um, actually, it feels like whatever this ending was, it happened long enough ago that you feel like you've healed enough to move on. You may be feeling like you're ready for some kind of new partnership, if that's the case. Um, I feel like that you're about to meet someone kind of right place, right time situation here, Scorpio. Um, some of you may have been through a divorce or some of you may be going through some legal battles of some kind. Mm. seems to be a recurring theme with our water signs today. Um, whoever you are, it feels like you're sort of shedding your skin here. You're getting ready to start the next phase of your life, whether it's the next three years, seven years, nine years, 12 years cycle of your life here, Scorpio. Um, so brace yourself. You're going to have a lot of changes coming towards you and they're going to be happy changes. These are going to be things that you can really invest in, things you can sink your teeth into. Um, you may be having a new opportunity in work coming towards you, a new opportunity to make money money in some way. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles, you know, that's my favorite card to get in any reading uh, because it's something that's very authentic to you. This may be a new love relationship coming towards you. If that's the case, it's going to be a very solid relationship and also um, someone that you're very attracted to. And it feels like the both of you, when you come together, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. You both feel like you have a lot to offer to the, to the other. Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. That um, The star card is Aquarius energy. This king of swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um, this person, if, if that's the case, this person's going to be very honest. They're going to be very open about how they feel. This is going to be someone who's very bright, someone who is able to communicate how they're feeling very effectively. The person that you may have ended things with in the, in the recent past may have not been so... Um, able to communicate their feelings. Maybe that's why you always felt like you were never, I, I get the impression that you felt like you were never enough. Does that make sense, Scorpio? And, and that's not true. It's not the case. And I think that maybe now you understand that. Um, and I feel like you've opened yourself up to receiving someone new in your life, to accepting someone new. And that's good because you're leaving something or someone behind so that you can start something new and something that feels a lot better for you. And I have the Knight of Swords. Again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is someone who wants to come in very quickly. They kind of want to knock your socks off, sweep you off your feet. Um, this is somebody who's very wordy. They're going to be able to communicate very efficiently. And I've got the Page of Swords. So I have the Page, the Knight, and the King. There's a lot of air sign energy coming towards you, whoever you are, Scorpio. Um, this person may have been watching you from a distance or you may meet this person online. Um, there's a lot of fast moving communication between the two of you. And now I have the Queen of Swords. All right, we have a lot of air sign energy on here. Um, this may be someone that you end up sharing a home with. Um, mm -hmm. uh, with that Queen of Swords, you're definitely a true match because I got the King and the Queen of Swords here, even though that's not your sign, even though this is not your suit. Uh, it feels like when you meet this person, you're gonna know that this is the right person for you because you're gonna, it's, it's the way you converse with one another. That's what's gonna do it for you. And also, I feel like there's a heavy energy of manifestation here with this three of wands. I always think of it as the minor arcana of the magician. This is someone who feels like they, um, they've prayed for you or you've prayed for them to come into your life. And it feels like it's the right time for that to happen. Um, this 10 of pentacles can be buying a new home. It can be moving in together. It can also be a windfall of money for some of you. You're do this. It's tax return season, right? Um, for some of you, you're going to be experiencing, um, uh, an influx in your income in some way. You may end up sharing a home with this person that may help you financially. I feel like you may meet this person online. When you do, you'll know it. You'll have great communication. You'll have great conversations. You're going to enjoy spending time with this person. And they're going to give you a lot more than whoever you were in the last relationship with. You're not going to be second guessing yourself so much. Whoever you were in this relationship with in the past, for whatever reason, they made you feel lesser than or smaller than in some way. And I think you grew tired of it. And I feel like you're still um, 
I feel like either you still are like currently today or just like recently, like, you know, last week, kind of second guessing yourself and kind of beating yourself up over how this ended. Um, and I feel like this new person that comes in towards you, they don't make you feel those same feelings at all. This is a much healthier um, connection. It feels more communicative than the last one did for you. All right, that was your reading for the week. Thank you for letting me read for you, Scorpio. Next up, we have Ophiuchus. And if you are an Ophiuchus, you would have been born between November 29th and December 17th. Um, some of you may resonate um, towards Sagittarius energy, and some of you may resonate more towards Scorpio energy. That's why I like to read you guys between um, Sag and Scorpio. So Ophiuchus, we've got the star out there for you guys and the Queen of Swords out there for you too. Just go ahead and take them out. How about that? And the fool. Nicely done. Um, so some of you may share some energy with um, Scorpio. Let's shuffle. What do we have for Ophiuchus this week? Um... For you, a lot of you are going to be spending time with a lot of friends and family this week. And some of you, oh my, hold on. Aw, oh man. Um, I feel like you're reconciling with some folks who may be... Um, Alright, hold on. Yeah. Um, let me just... Let me just... Let me set these aside over here. So with this five of wands in the reverse, this is somebody who's kind of done with drama. And Ophiuchus, I don't know what you've had going on in your life as in the recent past, but it feels, this is kind of a combative energy with this five of wands, right? Um, someone that feels like they're kind of battling with themselves or with other people. I don't know what your um, last month has been like here, but I feel like you've had... Um, this could be the energy of false starts or things that you thought were going to go places and they didn't go places. There's also this energy of deception and um, someone who's having to eat their words about something, someone who's having to come clean about some kind of situation. Um, the Seven of Swords is kind of always known for kind of being a liar, someone who's deceitful, but specific to this deck, this is the, um, what is this deck? I can't remember the name of this deck off the top of my head, but this is someone who feels like they're kind of having to eat some of their words. This may be the energy of a friend group that you belong to, maybe family members, and I hate to say that, but there's kind of like this energy of you prevailing in some way, Ophiuchus, and I feel like you're headed towards some kind of a partnership here. Um, this is kind of convoluted sounding, but it almost sounds like this is not going to resonate for everybody, but it feels like um, some of you may have had some people around you who were trying to to deter some kind of a partnership from coming towards you um and that's a weird thing to say i i get that but there was some kind of energy of someone saying things about you that weren't necessarily true to another person or maybe to you and it has to do with a friend group or it has to do with family members in some way with that three of cups don't let me get um this may be related to a cancer pisces or scorpio energy here and there's that three of cups on the bottom of the deck right there um there's this energy of justice being served and there's this lover's card underneath that i think somebody's about to be pretty happy and i think that's going to be you ophiuchus it feels like and again, this is not going to resonate for everybody. So if it isn't your story, don't try to make it be your story. But I feel like you had some people who said some things that were either unkind and untrue about you or just something inflammatory, trying to keep to this. I don't know why anybody would do that. Trying to keep you apart from someone else. Um, there's this energy of something being very unfair and something not being nice. I guess people do say things about other people behind their backs and things like that, I suppose. But it feels like it was really detrimental to you and to some other relationship possibly here. I feel like this is all changing. I think that there's been a major shift in this. Um, I have a new love relationship coming towards you here, Ophiuchus. And it feels like you don't care what anybody says anymore. I don't think this other person cares what is said anymore either. There's a lot of sexual passion here. And there's also a very healthy partnership here um, that happens once this comes together. And I feel like it was 
delayed and delayed and delayed. And now those delays are ending. I've got this Ace of Swords here on top of the deck, and that's an energy of a message that comes through for some of you. Um, this person that you've been kind of kept apart from for whatever reason is going to message you in the night, in the middle of the night. It changes everything. They may be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Oh my God, we have Minecraft music playing in there on the Alexa. My kids hijack the uh, music devices all the time and now it's a lot of, it's a lot of Minecraft music, a lot of Minecraft rap, no, I, some of it's really good. But anyway, back to you, Ophie, because I feel like you're going to be receiving a message from this person, a message that clarifies how they feel about you, and it gives you an opportunity to clarify how you feel about them. Um, you may have been worried about this situation. You may have been worried about what this person thought about you, and I can see why you would. It feels like some people didn't have your best interest at heart here. Um, there is reconciliation energy coming in here for you with this other person. There's a lot of healing energy here. It's going to make you really happy. This could be with a Cancerian. This could be with a Capricorn. Yeah, we have a major change here, and this is the, um, oh, snap. Look at you. Um, so this magician card comes out here right in the middle, and the magician for me is um, the card of Ophiuchus. A lot of people associate it with Aries. For me, it's Ophiuchus because of the qualities that the magician embodies. You do you. But it feels like there was some slanderous energy here where somebody felt like they needed to win. You may have been dealing with someone who had an ex that really didn't like you or um, family members that really didn't want you to be together. I don't know what the situation was or why that would be. It feels like there's been some major changes. This person has really looked long and hard at the situation. Secrets have come out um, about this person in their life in some way um, and, and what's been keeping the two of you apart. Because as you can see with the devil and the lovers, they're almost identical cards, right? <laughs> yes. And it feels like something was keeping the two of you apart here right? And it feels like that's changing. And I feel like nobody cares anymore what anybody else thinks here, let alone you, um, least of all you. And I feel like you're kind of ready to verbally put an end to this situation. Somebody here may have to stand up for themselves. Um, this tower energy, I've got this Sagittarius card here too, and goodness, and this star card too. Whoever this person is that is trying to come towards you um this is gonna this is somebody that you're meant to be with there is definitely a love relationship or soulmate relationship energy um this tower hold on this tower you're gonna be really surprised <laughs> Oh no, um, some of you are gonna be really surprised when this person comes towards you, Ophiuchus, and they're gonna tell you exactly how they've been feeling and you haven't known because for whatever reason, this person has been kept from you or kept apart from you. And I don't think that anybody has the ability to keep somebody from somebody else in our modern day society for whatever person, for whatever reason, this person decided to allow somebody else's thoughts or words about you, keep them from coming towards you. And I feel like that's changed. We have masks that have fallen off here. We have secrets that have come to light here in this situation and this person is making a decision and they're making a decision to come towards you no matter what and to be honest with you about how they've been feeling about you for ho however long and this changes everything. I have a true partnership here with the king and the queen of cups. That's again Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. <sighs> And uh, I get this feeling that nobody cares what anybody says anymore about this. There's reconciliation energy coming in here for you, Ophiuchus. It looks good. Um, definitely, you've got a couple of soulmate cards in here. You had that lover's card out. Now we've got this two of cups here. Two of cups is a very... Um, 
it's a healthy partnership. So I don't know what kept you guys apart. It really does feel like other people's words. And I hate that this other person may have trusted somebody else's words over you. I'm not a fan of that. But for whatever reason, it seems like that drama is over and done with. Thank goodness. Nobody likes the drama, right? All right. That was your reading for this week, Ophiacus. Thank you very much for letting me read for you. Next up, we have Sagittarius. I have got to turn this music down because it is too loud. Hold on. we can think now. Next up, we have Sagittarius. All right. Sagittarius, let's use this Chicoli deck for you guys. Sagittarius, you may have been on your own for a while. If that's the case, I don't think it's going to be that way much longer. There's an energy of partnership coming towards you. Although I understand that in the recent past, you haven't wanted to get outside of your own bubble. You've been isolating yourself a bit um, and not really interested in anything that's been offered to you as far as love relationships go. I feel like that's about to change with the Two of Wands there with the Ten of Pentacles, Sagittarius. Good news. Good news for you in love. Good news for you with your finances. You may be um, experiencing some kind of a windfall of money. You may be getting a raise. You may be, um, some of you may be buying a new home. There's this energy of financial abundance and also partnership coming in for you. Tell me more. What do we have here? have the Knight of Swords there. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is something that's very fast moving. It feels like you're going to be dealing with a lot of paperwork this week, Sagittarius. Um, and do, do your paperwork. Um, get to it, get, get it done, get it into the mail, get it filed, whatever it is you need to do. This is going to work out well for you if you just stay on top of things. Procrastinate no more. Yeah, Saggy. And you're going to be benefiting from it financially. So go ahead and get it done, whatever it is. Um, the Seven of Wands in the reverse, and I have that Justice card out. Um, for some of you, this may be um, legal paperwork. Um, some of you may be trying to make a move. Some of you may be trying to move house. It feels like there's a delay in that. And I have the Emperor on top of that. That's Aries, Divine Masculine Energy. And I have the Star card out here as well. That's Aquarius. It feels like, quite honestly, Sagittarius, this feels like someone who's having to wait. It feels like um, the brakes are being pumped on your life a little bit here spiritually because it is... Um, it feels like you're being asked to wait and kind of hold in place. And I feel like I'm talking to someone here who has a lot of get up and go, who has a lot of energy. Um, you're somebody who, when you have an idea of something, you want it to have been done yesterday. Like you don't want to have to wait for this to happen. You don't want to have to wait for it to come to fruition. You just want it done. Very Sagittarius of you. Um, but I feel like you're being asked to kind of stay in one place and stay put for a while um, because you're attracting this new person into your life and this feels like a very influential person um, with this emperor energy here again that's Aries but it's also divine masculine energy um, you may be waiting um, and I don't think you know that you're waiting on this person I really don't this sounds really strange but for a lot of you it feels like you're being kind of held in place this other person may be waiting on um, a divorce to be finalized this person may be waiting on legal paperwork to be finalized you may be waiting on this um, but you are where you're supposed to be to attract some kind of a partnership and also a lot of financial abundance um, it's just simply a question of you trusting in this process I, you're smart I know that you probably will and I think this is going to happen faster than you think it is I think you don't have any idea that this is coming towards you here Sagittarius let me just yeah now I've got the fool on the bottom of the deck and this three of wands, very good. And there's the queen of um, wands, that's you. And the 10 of cups, oh my goodness, wow. Enough already. All right, I'm gonna leave that. I'm just gonna, oh my God, I can't stop. All right, there. Um, okay, so a lot of you, um, this is a divine counterpart situation because I have that four of wands right there and that emperor energy. And I think you're very largely unaware of it. 
Um, it may be an Aquarius that you're attracting towards you. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be an Aries or simply Divine Masculine Energy. It's going to be something to celebrate once you get there. Um, there's this um, prayerful energy that comes with this Three of Wands, um, which is that kind of manifestation energy. Um, with this Ten of Cups right here, you've got the Ten of Cups, you've got the Ten of Pentacles here, which is a lot of abundance coming in for you financially, emotionally, in your love life, in every way. I feel like you are going to have, uh, I feel like 2023 is going to be amazing for you. I feel like a lot of you are going to be kind of staying put through 2022. And I think 2023 is going to be the year when things just skyrocket. And you're like, 2023? What? Don't tell me something's happening nine months from now. But sometimes it is. I feel like you're being placed in kind of a holding pattern here, Sagittarius, whoever you are. Um, and it's really just a time for you to focus on your needs, to focus on building up yourself, focus on building up... Um, your resources personally, like your personal resources, um, because you're about to be um, kind of manifesting a new partnership into your life here. And it's a very important, very influential partnership for you. And it's something that changes your life for forever. I'm serious. Um, let me get another deck to clarify. Let's use this traditional deck. Yes, because there I have that three of wands on the bottom of the deck and the ten of pentacles. Good job. Very good. I'm going to split the deck and shuffle. Um, Ten of Pentacles out there twice. A lot of you are going to be making a lot of money this year, Sagittarius. Um, and a lot of you are setting yourselves up for the future. This is great. This is, um, I think a lot of you are going to have a windfall of money that comes to you within the next two weeks. And then I think there's going to be more financial abundance that continues to stack upon itself throughout the course of 2022. And I understand that this is kind of far off in the distance, but with that three of wands out there twice, this is someone who is largely unaware of just how good it's going to be. Like while you're trying to work on things, while you're trying to get all your ducks in a row, it feels like you are. And I feel like you're going to, um, you're going to be achieving a lot of success, but I think you have no idea what's coming for you. I think there's a lot of abundance, like much more than you ever imagined coming for you in 2023. Um, new love coming towards you. Big love. Um, this Ten of Cups is an energy of marriage. It's also a family coming together, a blended family united together. It's a brand new beginning. Some of you may be moving and I'm seeing like tropical island locations. <laughs> yes. And with this Queen of Wands energy, that's, um, that's you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Feminine energy doesn't have to be that gender, but this Queen of Wands is someone who is focused on creating for themselves this year. You're focused on taking care of your family. Um, you're going to be focusing on your physical health, your physical appearance. This year, some of you are going to be, um, ugh, I hate the term, but truly glow up energy. Um, this is a lot of uh, physical attractiveness um, that you're going to be seeing within yourself, Sagittarius. And I have the strength card out here twice. I've got that. That's Leo energy. Some of you may be attracting a Leo towards you. Some of you may also have Leo placements in your birth chart in addition to Sagittarius. And this is someone who's being asked to stay strong and believe in yourself. Okay, Sag? Um, and I know that this is kind of a pain in the ass having to wait for all of this to work itself out. But when it comes to divine counterpart situations, which I think is what you have going on here, um, divine counterpart relationships, what I mean by that is like a, a superior soulmate relationship. Someone that um, you've known not just for past lives, but for, for forever. Um, if you want to do more digging into that, you're welcome to. You can research um, divine counterparts or twin flame counterparts. Um, um, it feels like you're manifesting someone very, a very intense relationship here towards you and a very special and unique relationship here for yourself. Give yourself time. Don't try to rush anything. You can't rush these divine, um, relationships in the meantime, go ahead, focus on yourself, focus on creating for yourself and creating the life that you want to create. You're going to have financial abundance coming in for you here pretty quickly. And also you're going to be building on that throughout the entire year. Um, you're going to have a lot of people that want to partner with you. You're going to be, um, spending 
spending a lot of time with friends and family over the next two weeks as well, Sagittarius, and you're going to be enjoying that. There's an energy of reconciliation here. And while you are definitely ready for a partnership here, it feels like you're ready for the right partnership. And it, it may be a little while before this person comes towards you and you spend the rest of this time kind of focusing on getting yourself into the position that you want to be in. Because, and I want you to be in that position, Sagittarius. You want to be the very best you can be when this... Um, emperor energy comes towards you and you are going to be happy to wait um, knowing that this is going to be the right person for you ultimately all right good job you Sagittarius thank you very much for letting me read your cards for you next up we have Aries Aries let's use this star power tarot for you guys my nose is itching all right what do we have for Aries tonight Wands. Look at you, you cutie. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine energy. Just had that out for our Saggies too. I like it when you guys represent, especially with the first card. Nicely done. Um, this Queen of Wands energy is someone who is very beautiful, very attractive, the most sexually attractive of all the queens in the deck. Someone who's very creative, someone who sees what they want. They go after it. They do all the things. They say, I'm going to do it. It gets done. Um, this is someone who's in very um, good health, feeling really, really good right now, Aries. This could be you. This could be somebody coming towards you. It feels like you, though. I have the Seven of Wands. What? And the Four of Cups. What? All right. So, Aries, I feel like while you're doing as well as you are, there's some... Oh... Uh... I don't know. Feels like drama from other people. I don't know if you are the instigator here or if other people are, but it feels like it's mm, whatever it is, it's making you feel a little isolated here and making you feel kind of on your own. Um, yeah. Three of Pentacles, this can be related to your work life. And I was seeing the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here too. Um, could be dealing with a superior at work um, or something like that. Um, someone who's kind of in charge. Um, I don't know if you instigated some drama at work or if other people around you are just driving you mad with the constant bickering and fussing and fighting and arguing, but whatever it is, it's kind of making you go within yourself, kind of like living like in the me bubble is kind of what it feels like. And with this three of wands, this is someone who's hoping for a better future, hoping that things are going to get better. Of course they are. Um, I feel like you have the best intentions you could have here, Aries. So whatever you've gotten yourself into here, I think it's just a hiccup. I've got the Page of Pentacles here. This may be, this may have happened in your work situation, in your work life. With this Page of Pentacles on top of this Seven of Wands... It feels like you're having to stand up for what you believe in this week, Aries, and it feels like this may be at work. Maybe this is kind of where you've been for a while. Maybe you feel like you're the only one standing up for what's right at work, and maybe that's what's causing some drama here. It's almost like whistleblower energy, but this is someone who has a plan for the future. This is someone who wants to see things improve. I feel like you've done the best that you can here, Aries, and I feel like you are in a place where you're doing what feels right to you. And you're trying to paint a better future but I feel like you're very much on your own in doing so. And I feel like finally at this point, you have other people who are ready to kind of join forces with you here. And it may have been that you were on your own in this perspective or situation. And now that's changing. It feels like you have kind of spread your word out there to the, for long enough that people are ready to kind of join forces with you here. Yeah, I have the strength card out. That's the card of Leo. Um, this is someone who's asking themselves to stay strong in this and to keep going, to keep, keep on fighting for what it is that you believe in. And for some of you, you may have to um, actually stand up for yourself here. You may have to stand up for others too. This Queen of Wands energy is someone, especially in the upright position, this is someone who's... Um, 
you know, the Queen of Wands can be a, a fairly dramatic person, um, especially when they're in the reverse, but when they're in the upright, they really do just have a loud voice and they speak for people who don't feel like they have a voice for themselves. Um, you may feel like you're having to stand up for others here. You may feel like you need to be the whistleblower in a situation and doing so has caused you to feel quite isolated. It feels like other people are starting to see um, the goodness in you and also the, um, the positivity and also the good ideas that you have for solving issues, solving problems. Um, and they're starting to kind of align with your voice. Yeah, I have the Empress that comes out over here. Um, for some of you, you may be offered a, um, a position at work this week or this month, Aries. Of um, You may be promoted at work. For some of you, you um, have families that you care very deeply about that you're trying to do the right thing for. Um, this Empress is someone who takes care of everyone around them. Remember I was saying you may feel like you have to stand up for the little guy or for the people who don't um, feel comfortable using their voice in the way that you do here, and I feel like you do, Aries. Um, let me get another deck out here and clarify a little bit further. I'm going to use this Tarot of Wonderland again. I feel like you really are trying to take care of everybody around you, but there's something very instigatory about you this week, Aries. I don't know. Hey, sometimes things need to be instigated, right? You're not going to get any judgment from me. Yeah, I've got the lovers in the middle there. Um, for some of you, this may be related to a love relationship, but really and truly, it's about making a choice. The lovers card's not always about a love relationship. It can be, but it isn't always. It's usually about a major choice, though. An are you all in or are you all out situation. It feels like you're either asking people to align one way or the other, or maybe a superior at work is. Hmm. And I have, that's adorable. I have the emperor on top of the empress here. So that's your card, Aries. The emperor is your card. Um, and I feel like you're about to be partnered with someone who is just as much of a go-getter as you are. The two of you together will move mountains. Um, you may be working with this person directly. This may be a partner in a love relationship. I'm not sure. We could have divine counterparts coming together here, Aries, with the lover's energy and the empress and the emperor, because obviously you are a true pair with whoever this person is. Yes, yes. And it feels like it's coming faster than you thought it would. Whatever this alignment is here, you may be given a lot of responsibility this week, Aries. And I feel like you're totally up for it. I feel like you're someone who has been... Um, kind of working for the greater good for a while. Maybe someone finally notices that and it feels like you have um, a good grasp on what other people around you need, Aries. And I feel like that may be why you're being given this opportunity for promotion or some kind of success. Um, for those of you who own your own businesses, um, there may be someone who wants to come in and partner with you or work with you. Um, there's a lot of strength that you have behind yourself this week, Aries, and a lot of um, things that you're meant to have are that are about to start coming towards you. There's a lot of blessings that are coming towards you because of how hard you've worked. And also your authenticity, you know that? Um, and your ability to stand up for what you believe in and to allow other people the freedom of their own beliefs while still standing up for those who don't feel like they have a voice. This kind of seems to be um, the loudest part of your reading here, Aries, is you simply choosing to do what feels right for you and to help others in the process. It's not gone unnoted and other people are starting to align with you because they can see your intentions now. They can see the good intentions that you've had and it may lead to some kind of promotion or some kind of partnership for you, Aries. Thank you very much for letting me read for you. Um, next up we have Leo. Leo, let us, we're going to use this artist's inner vision tarot for you guys. Let me readjust. This is crowding me. All right, Leo, thanks for letting me read for you tonight. Happy to see you. All right, what do 
we have for our Leos? Oh my goodness, you have a lot of majors on here. Whoa, you have a lot of majors on here, Leo. Wow. Okay, fair enough. Hold on one second. I did not see that this many had, um, wow, <laughs> that's such a dork. Um, so Leo, what an amazing time you're about to have. If you have been kind of um, not feeling like your best self, just brace yourself because you're about to. A lot of you have um, a lot of good energy coming towards you. Let me just, let me just start with that, okay? Um, some of you have met someone during um, Sagittarius season. Um, and if that is the case, this person sees you as their person. Um, a lot of you, there's a plan that's being put into action here, Leo. Um, this magician energy is someone who has all the tools that they need to create the life that they want for themselves. And all of a sudden, I think that you're very aware of it, this wheel of fortune in the upright position. And you've got Sagittarius on here twice. Some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius because um, you have temperance and the wheel of fortune, right? Um, but this wheel of fortune in the upright is good karma coming towards you. It's um, if there've been any delays in your life, Leo, the wheel is starting to turn for you. It feels like um, a return of abundance for you. It feels like you've been waiting on this new beginning for a while. A lot of you haven't, there it is. A lot of you actually weren't feeling so well um, in the fall and um, in the early early parts of winter. Um, a lot of you were really struggling with where to go next, what to do next. A lot of you have started your own businesses here. A lot of you, um, some of you um, may be pregnant or maybe having a baby come to you in the future, near future. And a lot of you have been waiting for this to shift. A lot of you have just known that this was a time for you to kind of hunker down and, I don't know, be in the bat cave for a while here, Leo. And it feels like while you were all hunkered down, um, there was a lot of transformation going on behind the scenes of you. Um, there's been a lot of beauty that's come into you, a lot of physical beauty, a lot of restoration. Um, in your life, there's, um, it feels like you've been waiting for the right time to take action in some kind of a situation. And if you have been, now is the time. And I feel like you've started to develop a plan for yourself and any of the plans that you had for yourself in the past that fell apart, it feels like it doesn't matter anymore. It feels like there's a new, a new goal. Okay. Let me just, let me just. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, we're going to get another deck, actually. We're going to use this after tarot to clarify. There's been a lot of change, and it was, yeah, some of you are physically relocating. Some of you are um, moving house. And I feel like you waited a long time for this to happen. I feel like this is what it was, Leo. I feel like you were stuck in a state of stagnancy for some time. And I feel like that has shifted. I think this there's like a new fresh clean out of energy for you. Springtime is going to feel so good for you, Leo. Yeah, a lot of you, um, you didn't know what you wanted to do in your work life. A lot of you weren't sure what was going to happen um, with some kind of a career or even just a, like a day job or, or something like that. A lot of you, um, or even some kind of creative endeavor and you weren't sure what was going to happen. It feels like now there's a time of prosperity coming in for you with work. Some of you may have been laid off or not been able to find work for some time and that's changing now, Leo. That is too many. Hold on. Um, some of you may be offered a contract this week, though. Um, oh, look at you. What? There it is. 
Um, and some of you may have new love coming towards you. And also, um, for some of you, this would be rather specific, maybe mending relationships with a mother figure in your life, a maternal figure in your life. Um, some of you are going to be offered contracts at work. Um, some of you may be in some kind of a child care industry or something like that. If that's the case, you're going to be given some kind of a new opportunity or new offer of finance in that. Leo, it seems like you are used to taking care of everyone around you. And for a lot of you, oh, a lot of you have someone coming in to help take care of you. A lot of you have a new love relationship coming into your lives with this Ace of Cups. You were not expecting this to happen. It has happened. Ah, it feels like a lot of you... Um, there's an energy of gratitude that is kind of upon you, and I can see why. I think a lot of you had a really difficult um, 2021, and I think it was a state of stagnancy for a long time. And I think that's shifted, and there is nothing but gratitude that you feel for these changes. There's a new love relationship coming in for a lot of you, um, and this person that's coming towards you really values you. They see you as this beautiful... Um, handsome, attractive, everything, like all that in a bag of chips, right, Leo? That's you and that's how this person sees you. I think they're, you're a little bit nervous about this relationship because you may have been on your own for a long time or you may not have seen a shift or a change in your life for a long time. If that's the case, it's off to the races now. Like this Wheel of Fortune is again, um, good karma coming towards you and it's a lot of energy returning to you, Leo. Uh, um, for some of you, you may end up getting engaged to this person. And if that's the case, this person has a plan for that. Uh, they don't want to let you go ever, ever. And this, <laughs> oh no, here's the rub. Um, so I have the nine of pentacles here, which is the minor arcana of the empress. I have them right here next to each other. Now it should be said that this nine of pentacles is someone who's very single. They usually own their own business. They um, are, you know, they work for themselves and they're used to being very independent. I think that could be what makes you nervous about this relationship that's coming towards you. For those of you who are starting new relationships, um, there's going to be a concern about giving up some kind of independence here. This person wants to nail, like lock you down as soon as you enter their lives. Um, and they have a lot of love for you here with this Ace of Cups. That's a new love relationship coming towards you. Yep, yep, yep. And it feels like they want to give you their heart and they, they really want to respect and appreciate yours too. Um, there's a lot of good feelings here and a lot of positive intentions here. But someone's worried about giving up their independence. I've got the Fool card out there again. And you're not sure you're ever going to be able to dive off down into that um, situation again. I think you will, though. I think you're just nervous about it. And I can see why you would be. Um, this other person is not nervous. This other person feels very solid with you. It's you that is worried. It's you that's concerned about giving up your sense of independence. There's a lot of sexual attraction and, um, yeah, with this person, a lot of sexual attraction. And with this Knight of Cups here, this is someone who wants to give you their heart. Yes, they do. You got the Ace of Cups, you got the Ace of Wands. Yeah. And I've got the Two of Cups out here now, Leo. Yeah, and there's the Knight of Pentacles again. You know what? And you've waited a long time for this relationship to happen. So let's just go ahead and let it happen. And let's stop second guessing ourselves here because this Two of Cups looks good, right? Yes, it does. Um, this is uh, one of our soulmate cards in the deck. This is a new love relationship coming towards you. This is a new love relationship coming towards you. This person has good intentions. This person may want to offer you something. This is kind of that engagement ring card. Um, this person sees you as this Empress energy whether you're male or female, um, they see you as everything they could ever want. There's an energy of gratitude that comes from you, but simply an energy of nervousness as well because you're very worried about giving up some sense of independence. It's possible you may have been on your own for some time, Leo, 
And that's a change in times they are a change in. And I feel like quite honestly, Leo, you've waited a long time for this relationship. You really have waited a long time for the right person to come along. And this person feels pretty good. This person feels pretty right, you know? I mean, as, as good or as right as anybody else could, you know? Um, so give it a chance. Quit second guessing yourself. All right, lots of love to you, Leo. Thank you very much for letting me read for you. Next up, we have Virgo. Um, Virgo, we're gonna use this Mary L Tarot for you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Virgo. You got the Two of Cups out and the Nine of Cups out there too and the King of Wands. Wow. And there's your card right there. Alrighty. Um, Two of Cups is about partnership. This Knight of Cups is someone who wants to offer you some kind of love relationship. Um, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's somebody, it's a very healthy partnership. It makes sense for the two of you to come together. This may be a new love relationship coming towards you with Aries Leo Sagittarius um, energy. This Queen of Pentacles is your energy here, Virgo. Um, this is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Um, this hanged man is Pisces, and this is someone who's waited for a long time to come towards you. Now, don't get hung up on the zodiac signs that I call it. I only call them out in case they are of significance to you in your situation, but they don't necessarily have to be, and certainly don't get hung up on the genders either. They're just cards. They tell stories, and um, they carry energy with them. So I really feel like, Virgo, whoever you are, you're bringing some kind of a partnership into yourself, and it's going to be... This is someone who knows that they want you. And this is someone who makes you feel good about yourself. It's possible in the past you were in relationships that caused a lot of pain and a lot of heartache. And I really feel like you've always been the one who's had to pick up the pieces in these situations. Um, you may have children from a previous relationship that you're solely responsible for. There's some energy of heavy responsibility here or heavy heartbreak here for you. And it feels like you're attracting new partnership into your life with this um, King of Wands energy. This is someone who knows that they want you. It's just a question of whether or not you want them back. Um, with this hanged man energy, you've waited a long time to partner with anyone. And now that this new relationship is coming towards you, I think you're going to be very, very happy about it. And it feels really healthy. It feels healthy and balanced, Virgo. And I have the world card out here. That's the truth of the matter is you're about to start a whole brand new cycle of your life. Five years, seven years, nine years, 12 year cycle. We're looking at a long cycle that you may have with this person. Um, and this is a change in you. You've changed a lot over the last couple of years, Virgo. I mean, obviously we all have, but you specifically have, and you've waited a long time for the right person to come into your life. I feel like you have closed out old cycles with um, a lot of your own emotions, things that you had been holding on to for a while, Virgo, people you'd held on to for a while. I feel like you are ready to let everything go now and move on to the next situation here. You've kept yourself um, kind of isolated from other people for a while. And I think that you had a lot of, um, wow, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, if this is your reading, I feel like you've been through a lot and I feel like you had to address a lot of the shadow aspects within yourself. It's possible that for a while, Virgo, you may not have been attracting very healthy partnerships into your life. And if that was the case, you took some time off and you really, really looked at that. You really, um, you looked at who you were, why you were attracting these situations into your life repeatedly and how you were going to change that. And I think in the meantime, you kind of kept yourself to yourself. Yeah. And a lot of you studied a lot. Um, a lot of you have been down some kind of a spiritual path here. A lot of you have had to experience kind of a dark night of the soul, or a lot of you have taken yourselves to therapy as well to kind of address some inner childhood woundings. And it feels like you're ready to let go of all of that. Now, let me get another deck and kind of clarify further. Let me grab this Tarot of Wonderland. Yeah, that's interesting. Did I not just have, yeah, seven of cups there, 
Seven of Cups here. And with the Death card there, I feel like we have a major transformation for you. Um, the Death card uh, is Scorpionic energy. And while we're, everybody's like, oh no, not the Death card. That's so scary. It's really not. It's an energy of transformation. The world is an energy of transformation. The world is the final card in a deck of tarot. It's the number 21, right? And that's what we have to have before we can wrap back around to the Fool, right? Which is the number zero. Um, this is closing out old cycles. It's like shedding your skin like a snake. And with this death card, it's the same thing. It feels like you've blown the candle out on the old energies that were keeping you stuck. Um, I'm hearing the words um, relevance. Something is no longer relevant in your life. Um, this seven of, and I've got the justice energy out here. Some of you may have been through a difficult divorce. Um, some of you may have been through some situations that were just entirely unfair and difficult. Some of you may have, um, like I was saying, some of you may have a family um, that you have to support on your own. And a lot of you felt very emotionally overwhelmed for a while. I feel like a lot of you were alone a lot. Ah, boy. all of a sudden I'm like very oh, like kind of emotional for you. Um, I feel like you're about to experience a major change. There's that emperor card on the bottom. I've got the lovers underneath that. A lot of you are going to be experiencing a lot of financial abundance. And a lot of you are going to um, be receiving some mental clarity. Um, there was some, with this seven of cups out here twice, it can be the energy of mental fog. I always kind of explain it as not being able to see the forest for the trees, right? Um, whenever we go through very, very, very difficult situations, sometimes it feels like you're at the bottom of a well and you don't know how to get yourself out. You may have sat in that state for a while, Virgo. Um, if that was the case, I feel like this is ending. This is something that's shifting out of your life. Um, and I feel like you waited a long time for things to improve for things to get better and I feel like they are and if you're not feeling this way yet you're about to I mean within the next five to set five six days five six days um, you're going to start feeling a major shift you're bringing this partnership energy into your life I have the emperor here which is Aries energy but it's also divine masculine energy this is someone who is going to um this is going to be a very, very, very good partnership for you. Very healthy partnership. Um, this is someone who has a good heart. They want to help this. And no one can heal you. You have to heal yourself. But this person has a lot of healing energy. They want to help you. They have good and in, good intentions towards you. I feel like you're going to have a lot of, um, it's like the mental fog is lifted. Like the dryer lint has been cleaned off the screen. Um, and you're about to have a new love relationship coming towards you for a a lot of you. Um, you may be settling into a new home. Some of you may be um, experiencing some financial abundance here this month um, and on into the month of March as well, Virgo. Um, I feel like you just have a fog that's being lifted from you. Good, good, good. And there's that King of Wands again. All righty. Um, whoever this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be those zodiac signs, but it's someone who's a real go-getter, someone who is funny, um, someone who tells funny jokes, someone who's kind of the life of the party, someone who um, they just make you laugh when you're around them. This is somebody who wants to make you laugh, somebody that wants to um, bring joy into your life. If you have children, this person wants to dote on your children. They want to make your life more fun, more colorful than it was. They want to make sure that you have happy days instead of sad days. And I think you're not used to that, whoever you are, Virgo. I'm not sure you're used to people um, being as good to you as this person is going to be. And I think it's going to be kind of a surprise. You deserve it. Of course you do. I think you know you do. But I think there may have been a time where some of you didn't. I think there, I think, I, I feel like I'm reading for someone who's been through an awful lot here. And I feel like I'm talking to someone who's been kind of isolated um, for a while, or at least not feeling like they could share their voice about situations that they had gone through. Some of you may have been through some very 
difficult situations, Virgo. Um, some things that pretty much no one knows about. Some some folks who don't know how dark it was for you. And if that's the case, I think that, that there's about to be a shift in this for you. I think that um, from now until the end of March, be expecting a lot of changes to come in. I think every day is going to start to feel better, a lot lighter. And again, this new partnership that you're kind of pulling into your life, um, I think it will happen probably within the next month that you're going to meet this person. This person's going to want to give you a lot of support. They're going to want to help you. They want definitely want to put a smile on your face. All right, that was your reading for this week, Virgo. Thank you very much for letting me read for you. Next up, we have Taurus. Taurus, what do we want to use? We're going to use the Chicoli deck for you guys. All righty, what do we have for Taurus? Oh boy, we got the tower on its side. This is, oh, what is happening? Hold on. Oh boy. Oh no. What? What has happened? I think nothing's happened yet. I think you're anticipating this, Taurus. Um, so basically, I feel like you, and I don't know if this is happening to you or if this is happening to someone around you or if you just kind of feel this coming, but I have somebody here who recognizes something's about to fall apart. Um, with this Five of Swords, this can be an energy of gossip. It can be an energy of slander. It can also be the energy of... Um, having to defeat a bully. I mean, let's just, let's just take a gander, shall we? Um, this is someone who is having to make difficult decisions as to who they're going to keep, who they're going to remove from their lives. I have the 10 of swords here on its side. That's kind of an on again, off again relationship. It can be the energy of an ending. It's the minor arcana of the death card for me as a reader. This is someone who knows that there's some impending ending here. And also someone who knows that everyone's going to be better off if we let it go. Yes, yes, but I feel like it hasn't happened yet. You may know what's happening here and no one else does. I'm not sure. This may be related to a love relationship. I have the Six of Cups here. And I feel like with this Six of Cups, this is past life love. This is kind of soulmate energy for sure. This could be related to a friend group, someone that you've known for a while. Um, I'm seeing like sisters. Doesn't have to be. This is someone who is, um, oh man, walking a tightrope here. What are we talking about here, Taurus? Let's see. Ah. Uh got the strength card out in the middle. I feel like Taurus, whoever you are, this may be happening around you, not necessarily to you. <sighs> there's some kind of energy of betrayal here with that 10 of swords. And there's someone here who knows that they're on like very thin ice. It may have to do with a soulmate relationship or a friendship. Somebody here knows they need to let something go, let someone go. I don't know what we're talking about. Let's see. I have the chariot card here. That's Cancerian energy, somebody who's ready to move on. I feel like that's you. I think you want to move on from something. I think you're just trying to get on the other side of this, whatever it is. Let me get another deck. Let's use this traditional deck. Um, this is someone who I feel like you, oh yeah, this may be related to a friend group. Feels like somebody here may need to apologize. This could also be related to love life. Uh, maybe Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. Not necessarily though. Somebody needs to speak up and tell the truth about a situation because I can see that someone here hasn't been. There's an energy of betrayal here, possibly slander. I have the Empress there. That's Virgo energy these two kings on the bottom of the deck here too. I feel like you're being asked to choose between people or being asked to choose. I feel like you are very capable of making a decision for yourself as far as who to believe. There's some kind of energy of friendship or a reconciliation with someone once you make this decision. I do not know what we're talking about here, Taurus, but I'm just reading these cards here for it because I don't know what the situation is here yet. Let me see if I get a little bit more clarity as far as what this um, 
Because the Six of Cups and the Lovers are very similar energies, right? The Lovers is the number six. It's a card of Gemini. Um, they're both soulmate energies here. So I feel like we may be talking about a soulmate relationship here. It feels like someone... Let me, let me just clarify this Five of Swords because that this Five of Swords and this Ten of Swords is kind of what's throwing me off here. With this tower on its side, there's some kind of impending doom here. And there's the Five of Swords again. It's secrets coming out. <sighs> okay. Oh, boy. All right. I feel like no matter what, I feel like this is not your problem, but I feel like it may be happening to someone around you or someone that you're close to. This may be a friend that you're close to. This could be a love relationship that you're involved in where you have somebody who's maybe saying unkind things about you. I don't feel like, I'm hoping you're not the one who would do this. I don't think so with the Empress in the Upright. I feel like you're trying to take care of everyone in this situation. There's this energy. I have a lot of friend group energy here with this five of swords out here twice and with the three of cups and this um, six of wands. This is like a community or a group of people. It feels almost like, I don't know if you're helping someone here who maybe other people were saying unkind things about. Um, there's someone here who, uh, with this page of cups, that's a message of forgiveness, love, apology, kindness, friendship, any of those things, right? Check any of those boxes. That may be coming from you. You may be inviting someone um, to come towards you where they have been maybe kind of abused by a group here in some way. Um, someone's had their name kind of dragged through the mud here. Uh, somebody just wants to kind of move on here. You've got Cancerian energy out here twice. Somebody here is kind of walking this difficult road, trying to decide what they want to do. Which way do I want to go? And I've got the strength card out there again. That's twice for the strength card. Good grief. You got quite a few repeats out here for this tiny little spread, you know that? Um, this strength card is Leo energy, but this is someone who knows the right thing to do. And sometimes it means standing up for someone. I feel like that's the situation here. Somebody has to make a choice of alliance. I don't even know what we're talking about here. Make a choice of a lot. I don't, do grown-ups even have to do this? I guess they do. Um, maybe you're on Survivor this week. I don't know what's happening here for you, Taurus. But this is someone who has to stand up for what they believe in or stand up for someone who's not able to stand up for themselves in some way. Um, this is rallying community support around someone who may have had their name dragged through the mud or something. Or maybe you see that someone is about to kind of falter. Maybe you're hearing a lot of gossip about someone. Um, this could be an energy of betrayal. This could be an on-again, off-again relationship. It could be related to a love relationship. I don't know that it's your love relationship here, Taurus. But this is someone who's kind of struggling and I feel like they need your support. I feel like you're helping someone to move forward here this week. Um, it may have to do with someone that you've known in a past life, which sounds kind of far-fetched, but this may be someone in like your soul tribe or like the soul grouping that you travel in from life to life. I don't know. There's the energy of knowing someone from a past, from the past. Um, it feels like you kind of are responsible for healing this situation in some way, helping this situation heal, perhaps. It feels like secrets are kind of coming out about someone here. 
and there's someone that just wants to move on. Somebody wants to move on here. Somebody wants to move on here. Somebody wants to um, put this into the past, put this whatever it is in the past. I've got this nine of swords. There's someone who's had a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry. And here you are with this queen of pentacles energy. Um, this is someone who takes care of other people. I feel like you're very giving, you're very kind, Taurus. Whatever it is you do, you try to help other people. Um, and same thing with this empress. The empress is always taking care of everyone around them. You may be a mother. This may be someone that you feel like you're a mother to, like a mother figure to. Um, I've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Golly, geez, we got a lot of people involved here. And there's the tower again. There's still more people. And there's the Ten of Swords again and more people. Good grief. Um, this feels like almost like a community that is or a community, a friend group, or a family group. It's like a group of people. And it feels like you're trying to manage them and you're trying to make a situation be better or, or to feel better. Um, it feels like there's a lot of gossip surrounding some kind of situation. You're trying to heal this situation. You're trying to help someone kind of make it through to the other side here. I have no idea what we're talking about here, but there's a lot of repeat cards in here. So that tells me we're talking about these very specific energies. With this tower card out, there's some kind of inevitable falling apart of a situation it's like something's about to topple something's about to fall apart and i think you know it you see it for what things are oh my goodness i think whatever this is um with all of your positive intention here taurus it feels like you're able to um lead whatever this is into a safer place into a better place into a healthier place um this person that you're dealing with has been under a lot of stress there's this real heavy energy of betrayal with this ten of swords out here twice could have been within an on again off again relationship i don't know what has happened here again this feels like it's with within a group. This could be in your work life. This could be in your family or friend group. It feels like you're trying very hard to make this better, to make this situation better. You may be extending an offer of um, invitation to this person. Can we get together? Would you like to sit down and talk about something? Um, golly gee, I'm not sure. It feels like you're facing some drama here, but I don't know that it's necessarily your drama this week, Taurus. It just feels like you're trying to make a situation improve um, for someone else who really does seem to need your help in some way. And I'm glad that you have such good positive intentions. I'm glad you're not one of these folks that are running around. Um, I feel like there's someone who's saying unkind things about someone behind their back or someone who's trying to throw someone under the bus, maybe at work or something. I feel like you're having to stand up for this person um, or something like that. All right, that was your reading for this week, Taurus. Thank you very much for letting me read your cards for you. Um, next up, we have Capricorn. Capricorn, we're going to use this uh, Mariel Tarot for you guys. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to use this Deviant Moon Tarot for you guys, I guess. I hope you guys are doing well. All right, what do we have for our Capricorns today? Knight of Wands, King Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Hermit. Um, I have somebody here who has a lot of passion for something. You're trying to decide. I feel like this is you, Capricorn. You're trying to decide where your heart lies, where you want to put your emotions. Um, you're someone who's been on your own for a little while. Um, very single energy here. You may own your own business. This is somebody who's kind of used to being very independent and on their own. You may have been single for a long time. It feels like someone's very interested in you or you're very interested in someone else. There's a lot of sexual attraction for you um, with this other person or vice vice versa, but you're so used to being on your own with this hermit energy, that's Virgo energy. This is someone who's kind of um, a little worried about opening their heart up to someone simply because they may be fearful of losing independence or maybe you're just trying to decide how you feel about this person that's coming towards you. I've got that two of cups under there and I've got that three of cups under there too with the queen of wands. Nicely done. Um, I feel like this person is a really good match here for you, Capricorn, with the two of cups. That's a soulmate energy. It's a healthy partnership. This three of cups can be reconciliation energy. It can be a 
coming back together with someone with this Queen of Wands. You've got Knight of Wands. You've got Queen of Wands here. Um, that's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Doesn't have to be those zodiac signs though, but this is someone who either sees you as very, very physically attractive or vice versa. Why is this King of Cups on its side? You're not sure how this other person feels about you. You don't want to make a bad decision. This person may be a Libra. Let me see. Um, yeah, I think that at one point, I think you know who this person is. And at one point, one of you left the other behind. One of you said, you know, I'm not sure that this is the right situation for me. I feel like it's coming back around though. This person may have changed their mind or you may have changed your mind about this person, Capricorn. And now I have some kind of reconciliation or reunion coming towards you, the both of you together here. Let me get another deck. Um, there's been a major change here. It has to do with just, yeah, I've got the Ace of Wands there. That's a lot of, um, physical attraction, sexual attraction. I have a new beginning here happening for the two of you. And I see the love bubble. The love bubble, you know, the love bubble is when you um, start a new relationship with someone and you guys can't get off the sofa because you keep staring into each other's eyes because you love each other so much. That's the love bubble. I see that coming up for you, Capricorn, whoever you are. I feel like there's a brand new beginning for you with someone that you've walked away from in the past or they walked away from you. It feels like reconciliation energy here could be with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Virgo, possibly, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have the lovers out here too. Um, this is someone who's about to make a difficult decision or not a difficult decision, but a major decision in their love life. That's what the lovers is. It's card of Gemini. This is somebody who recognizes that this person that's coming towards them may be a soulmate. This is a significant relationship coming towards you. Soulmate, soulmate. A lot of sexual attraction, sexual attraction, sexual attraction, for sure. Six of Swords, um, you may have to, this person may have to physically relocate to be closer to you. You may have to relocate to be closer to them. And I have the strength card out there. That's Leo energy. We've had a lot of that out here. This is somebody who has to um, do what they feel is right. This is someone who has to um, trust their instincts too. There is a lot of love here between the two of you. And it feels like it's kind of surprising for the both of you. Um, some of you have known this person for a very long time. And I feel like they're coming back towards you because they can't help but come back towards you. It's almost like... This person belongs to you almost like this is a pet almost. Yes. And I have a major transformation that's happened between you and this person in your time apart because there has been some time apart here. While you guys were apart, it feels like there's been a major change. I love this for you, Capricorn. This is such good energy, such good vibes. Um, you may have been separated from this person um, throughout most of winter. Um, and I'm not sure why that was, but for whatever reason, um, you both had some work to do on your own. It feels like you're coming back together. Here's your card here with the devil. And I love the way that the lovers are depicted here at the bottom. There's nothing between the two of you now. It's like you can now come together and make this work. Um, between the two of you, Capricorn, this looks good. I feel like last week you guys had um, a lot of major... Um, a lot of major things going on in your love life too, where you were attracting someone Capricorn into your love life. Feels like this is a continuation for you. I think you're not really going to be sure of what to think about it. I think you've been on your own for a while, so it's going to be kind of a surprise when this person comes back towards you. At some point, you both left one another behind, but there's just so much attraction here. I think that's what pushes this reconciliatory energy through. It's a very healthy partnership that you have coming towards you as well. All right, much love to you. Thank you for letting me read your cards, Capricorn. Next up, we have Gemini. Gemini, we're going to use this traditional deck for you guys. All right, 
Gemini. Got the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. Um, that's the card of Virgo, but this is someone who's taking some time to really think about what they want to do. This is someone who is, I'm um, spending a lot of time in meditation and quietude. Um, someone who may be feeling very solid, um, feeling a lot of solitude in their lives right now. And it's very peaceful. It's very quiet. Um, it's a very good energy. It's something that brings about, um, a lot of clarity for you. Um, this time, and I've got this Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, feminine energy here with this Queen of Swords. That's you. Um, I feel like you need this time to think about what you want to do, what you want to say to another person. You've been through a lot with this person. You have some pretty healthy boundaries up around yourself now when it comes to this relationship and you're wanting a major change in your life. You want to have a conversation about what you want to see happen differently. You want to um, affect quick change with this person or this situation. You you want things to get better and you want it to get better fast. Um, you're ready to move on from this person. If you don't see the change that you need, you want to have a conversation with this person about what you need to see different to be what you need to be different. Um, some of you may be um, experiencing a separation, even a breakup or an ending. Yeah, we got the death card out there now. Um, and some of you may be going through a divorce with this person as well. I have the justice card here. That's Libra energy. Death is Scorpio. And with this world card, this is an ending of a chapter, an ending of a major cycle in your life here, Gemini. Um, some of you are just taking a break from a situation, but for a lot of you, this equals a breakup. Okay, this three of swords, I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck, right? It comes for all of us at one point, sure. Um, it's pretty difficult, it can be pretty challenging, and this death energy is an ending as well. So you've got ending, ending, ending. Somebody wants to have a conversation about something major. Let me get another deck. Um, somebody, I think Gemini, you know that there's a better way. And we have, um, with the Wheel of Fortune here, we have a change of, uh, we have a lot of good karma coming towards you. I feel like you deserve it. I think you've been through a lot with this person because you have a lot of walls and boundaries up around yourself. This is the Wounded Warrior card with the Nine of Wands. I feel like you've had to put some boundaries up here. Um, this person may have... Um, kind of walked all over what is that give them an inch and they'll take a mile I feel like you've you've dealt with that for a long time something happened during Sagittarius season that this is maybe when this ending happened or when this ending began you found out about some kind of a betrayal during the month of uh, November December possibly for a lot of you there's kind of a relief when you found this out um, because it allowed you to move on happily and it allowed you to move on towards happiness. I feel like you hadn't been happy for a while. You may have had some financial challenges um, in this relationship. There's also the energy of separation here again um, with this five of pentacles and this devil energy is someone who doesn't want to deal with this toxicity any longer. They want to cut it out of their lives and they want to move on but you haven't told this person the truth about how you feel and there's something or someone else that you would prefer to have instead. You're tired of trying to um, trying to get this person to behave in a way that you need them to. Some of them, some of these people involved you in a third party situation and that's the betrayal you found out about during um, November, December. Let me get another deck and clarify a little further. Let's use this vice versa tarot. Yep, um, this is someone who feels like they have to cut this situation out. Secrets have come out. Could be about a third party situation. Feels so like for a lot of you, you've been waiting on an opportunity to leave this situation. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm talking to someone here who is actually really quite relieved that they found out about this information. And it, they're actually, I don't want to say that you're happy about it, but there's like this relief. And this is somebody who says, well, now I can move on and not feel badly about it. And I think some of you have been waiting on the opportunity to do that. Well then. Okay. And, but with this six of swords in the reverse, this is someone who feels like they can't move on. They can't physically relocate, relate, relocate. You may own a home with this person. Um, you may live with this person in some way. I don't know 
what the situation is, but there's someone here who feels like they can't physically leave this situation, even with this new information coming to light and these secrets coming out. Um, you feel like you can't get yourself out of this. I promise that's going to change. And that's what happens here with this Wheel of Fortune. We have a major shift and there's a progression to this too. I've got the um, Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Six of Swords. And I saw that seven of swords there. Oh, and I've got the three here too. We've got a lot of swords energy and obviously that relates to air signs, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. That's your energy. It feels like you're kind of in charge of pushing this through here, Gemini, whatever it is. There's a new beginning here that's about to happen for you that's gonna feel a lot more authentic to you, that's gonna make a lot more sense for you. And it feels like this is what propels you into a state of action when there has been... Um, I don't wanna say in action, but you were kind of waiting for all of these things to come to light, waiting to have this opportunity to make this change, waiting for this moment of inspiration to strike or for you to find out about this stuff. Um, that's what's kind of propelling you forward. And I have this Six of Pentacles here. This is someone who sees things from a bigger perspective now. Mm-hmm, yeah. And I feel like your biggest um, focus is now going to be um, getting some fair treatment here. I feel like whoever you are, I feel like you've, I feel like someone pulled the wool over your eyes or there was like a hood over you for a while and now that's been removed since that's happened. Now we have a major shift coming in here for you. I have that judgment card on the bottom of the deck and that can be the wake up call. This is somebody who all of a sudden understands what it is they need to do. All of a sudden there's this real push to get out and um, kind of recreate your life here. Some of you may be going through a divorce um, within the next year. Um, there's a major transformation here that happens for a lot of you, Gemini, once you leave this situation behind. Um, and I think that for a long time, you didn't know if you were going to be capable of it. And you were really waiting on the right information to allow you or to, to let you know that it was okay for you to make this change. Um, and now that this has all come to light, I feel like you're saying, yep. And then in that case, I can be done. I'm ready to move on. And when you do, this is going to be a brand new beginning. There's going to be, there's a lot of good karma coming towards you, whoever you are. Um, but it comes after you cut this situation out. Thanks for letting me read for you, Gemini. That was your reading for this week. Next up, we have Libra. Libra, let's use this star power tarot for you guys. Okay, some of you may be struggling to express yourself in a situation. Some of you may be procrastinating a little bit. That doesn't sound like you, Libra. Um, I have the judgment in the reverse. This is someone who hasn't made up their mind about what they want to do yet. There it is. Um, some of you may be dealing with someone um, who's a little hot-tempered, someone who doesn't always make the right decisions um, for yourself or for your family. Um, this emperor in the... And I got the tower in the... Man, you're dealing with somebody here who consistently makes poor choices. And a lot of times it's based on their temper. Um, someone who's a little bit explosive here. This can be at work. Oh, this person, oh no, no, no. Why, 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 why? Uh, okay. Um, I feel like you kind of see this coming before. It's like you could see this coming from a mile away. Um, there's this three of cups in the reverse, which can be a third party situation with the emperor in the reverse. That's Aries, um, also divine masculine energy. Uh, yeah, for sure. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you definitely know what's going on here. Although you may be the only person that knows what's going on here. This person, it's almost like a superior at work caught with a third party situation or something like that. There's this kind of an energy of no bueno from this person. There's this kind of inflammatory news. You know, this is going to change everything. Um, with this two of wands in the reverse, it can be... Um, 
a partnership that is not made with the right intentions. This two of wands in the reverse, a very lusty card um, with the three of cups in the reverse. That's third party situation. Tower in reverse is again um, a slowly crumbling establishment of some sort or situation of some sort with this death energy. You know that there's about to be a major change and it's going to affect a lot of people here, Libra, uh, with this king of wands in the reverse. Very similar energy to this emperor in the reverse. We have someone who's let their temper get the better of them or let their, um, I don't know, sexual needs or, or lust get the better of them, although I don't see the devil out yet. Um, with this hermit in the reverse, this is someone who wishes that they'd made different choices. And I guess this could be you, um, but it really does feel like it's external to you, Libra. I'm not seeing a lot of your energy here on the table, um, but this hermit in the reverse is someone who didn't think before they made the choices that they made. And now all of a sudden there's like a light that's being shined on all of this bad behavior this seven of pentacles in the reverse now that feels like you libra is someone who doesn't want to wait for this situation to shake itself down i feel like there's an energy of gossip and slander about this situation i think that somebody is going to have um have to communicate about this situation it doesn't look great Yeah, you've kind of known what was happening for a long time. You've kind of known about some kind of this this betrayal. I feel like this is not the first time this person has done this. You've seen this coming from a mile away, Libra, with this three of wands energy here. Crossing this king of wands, this is someone who didn't have the best of intentions. Um, and this, and I don't think that's you. I think that's this other, whoever we're talking about here. And I hate, you know, dredging up somebody's business here. I think the only reason it's being brought up here is because you're somehow involved with this situation. I'm not sure how you're involved with this situation, but I think you know, Libra, all about this. With this high priestess, this is someone who's always had this gut feeling that this was going on. Whatever this betrayal energy is here, I think you've seen this behavior from this person before. Um, this could be a superior at work or this could be someone that you are in a relationship with. If you're in a relationship with this person, you're not the only person involved in a relationship with them. And it's possible you may have been waiting on an opportunity to remove yourself from this situation. I'm not sure what's going on, but I feel like you don't have to wait any longer. It feels like the decision's been made for you. Um, with this high priestess energy, that's Pisces energy. This is someone who's always known the truth about this situation. Zoinks. Um... Uh, yeah, this is a shame. Um, and there's that seven of pentacles again. Um, and there's that two of wands out there again. Um, for those of you who this is someone that you're in a partnered relationship with and you're just finding out about this situation, um, it's a sad thing because this at one time was a healthy partnership, but at, at some point this person stopped giving you any physical affection, emotional support, something like that. That's what clued you into there being an issue at all. Um, and now that you're letting go of this partnership here, it invites a healthier partnership to come towards you this person if this was a relationship you were part of um this was they abused your heart they abused your affection in some way and you don't want to deal with that any longer mm -hmm. My nose is itching again um you don't have to wait any longer for this situation at all it feels like you've seen what you need to see it's like it's not improving at all and so you can get up and walk away now if this is not a relationship that you're in, I feel like you're just watching this topple apart around you. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of bracing yourself for drama. Um, what you don't know, though, is that you are now putting yourself into a place to invite more stability into your life. It's like letting go of this one situation. There's the tower right there, too. And letting go of this major commitment actually invites a healthier love relationship into your life. Now, you may not meet this person until closer to the end of this year. But I feel like there is a healthier partnership coming towards you, something that is actually really really amazing. Um, 
could lead to marriage. This could be a divine counterpart situation. You may have thought this other person was going to be your person for forever, but I don't think they were. Um, there was some kind of a major commitment or contract you had with this person. I feel like they turned their back on this situation at some point. You may have had children with this person as well. You may have planned to spend your entire life with this person um, for some of you. And this is a very painful ending. The way this has happened, um, the way this has fallen apart has been very painful um, for you to either watch from the inside or from the outside looking in. Um, but it's whatever has happened here, it's giving you an opportunity to get up and walk away from it. And it feels like when you do, again, this world card is like the final, um, it's the final card in a major deck of, um, tarot cards. It's number 21. It's the ending. And it's almost like you're happily leaving this situation. Clearly, if this was your love life, this was not, um, a healthy this wasn't a healthy love relationship for you. And if that's the case, you kind of always knew this. In the back of your mind, you, you could feel it. You could sense those red flags or whatever it was. Um, and you were really just waiting for the, pros the positive proof here. It feels like that comes out. Um, probably, if it hasn't already happened, I mean like within the next three days, five days maybe. Closer to three days probably. Um, but once you are through on the other side of this, there's a lot of happiness that comes towards you. It could be um, as early as midsummer, but for a lot of you, it will be closer to the end of the year that this new relationship comes towards you. You may need some time for healing here. I feel like a lot of you are pulling in some kind of a divinely guided soulmate energy here that can only come in once you let go of some of this negative partnership. If this is something that's happening um, for you with like a superior at work in some way and you're watching this from the outside, um, I feel like you're kind of bracing yourself to maybe have to stand up for this person. I don't know if this is gonna be an HR situation or something like that. I I think that you're preparing to have to hear about all of this. Um, and if it is outside of your scenario and this is just something that comes across your desk or something, thank God it doesn't have anything to do with you because if it does have to do with you, I think it's fairly painful and I don't wish that for you, but it kind of opens up a new opportunity for change in your life. And that's good because whatever this situation was, it wasn't very healthy for you ultimately. I think you see that now. All right. Thank you very much for letting me read your cards for you, Libra. And last of the night, we have Aquarius. Oh. Aquarius. Let's see here. We're going to use this Tarot of Wonderland for you guys. Oh, what do we have for you, cutie pies? All right, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you're afraid that you're going to fail with something. I feel like you're afraid you don't have a plan. Like you're not sure what's going to happen here. I have the chariot in there. Oh, what has happened? Aquarius, with this chariot in the reverse, this is somebody who feels like they can't move on from someone or something. With this seven of swords. Um, seven of swords is an energy of lying or deceptive energy. Deceptive intentions oh, Aquarius I don't know if this is you or if this is somebody that you are interacting with in some way um, but with this seven of swords somebody is getting caught um, and if it's you you're not prepared for this it could be involving a Cancerian, doesn't have to be. Whoops. Nine of Pentacles. Um, that's the Minor Arcana of the Empress. This may be related to your work or your business. This is someone who may find themselves to be single um, sooner than they were expecting. Um, there's this real energy of not having planned for something here and there's an energy of secrets being revealed or maybe lies being exposed and there's this energy of someone who doesn't feel like they can move forward now 
and someone who finds themselves um, maybe newly single in some way. There's uh, some fearfulness here, fear of change. Um, there's new partnership coming towards some of you. My goodness. What? Oh my goodness. So I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, masculine energy. Um, for some of you, it's like once this deceptive energy is acknowledged here, yeah, there's a scary start. And I feel like I just read these same cards here for Libra or Gemini. I can't remember which one. As soon as I do a reading, it just disappears out of my head. Um, so I'm not sure, but I feel like we had a similar energy here for one of our other air signs. Um, some of you, this propels you into a place of movement. Some of you, once you find out about this situation or once this situation is kind of exposed, um, and I'm not sure how you're involved here. I'll, I'll get another deck in a minute, Aquarius. But I feel like you're propelled towards some kind of very happy time in your life. This Ten of Cups can be a marriage energy. This Two of Wands is being in the right place to accept new partnership in your life. And this Six of Swords is someone who's finally able to physically move on, physically move forward. Some of you physically relocating. Um, there's a major change in how you feel about someone or something here. And there's a lot of clarity that comes in for you this month, Aquarius, especially this week even. Um, this is someone who now starts to feel like themselves again for the first time in a while. This is very good. This is very healthy for a lot of you. You've been um, afraid to make changes, maybe afraid you were making a poor decision, maybe you're afraid that you didn't have a plan put in place. I gotta, I gotta clarify about this Seven of Swords. Um, for a while, you've been kind of sitting at the crossroads of should I go this way? Should I stay here? Should I go? Something like that which is the right direction, what's the right decision. I think this exposure of this six of swords is what does it for you though, or this seven of swords is what does it for you. Let me, let me just, let me just. We are gonna use, yeah, let's just use this traditional deck. Um, for some of you, this is exposure of a third party situation. For some of you, let me, what is the Seven of Swords chariot in the reverse? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, for some of you, this was a breakup. Um, the Three of Swords in the reverse is usually a breakup that's already happened. Why? with Queen of Cups. Um, Queen of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Doesn't have to be those zodiac signs. So this would be someone that at one point you gave your heart to or you or they there's a very nurturing quality to this Queen of Cups. Um somebody may have said things that were untrue about this Queen of Cups energy. This may be you. Um, you may be this Queen of Cups energy or this may be someone you were involved with. I feel like there was this energy of deception between the two of you in some way, whoever this is. Um, and it led to a breakup or an ending. It was very difficult to get over this. It may have left you not feeling like yourself for a time. I don't think that one, somebody here couldn't move on. Somebody wasn't sure how to restart their life or something without this other person. There was somebody here who felt like they needed to win in a situation. Um... This can be the energy of gossip or slander about someone. This seven of swords is usually someone who's not telling the truth. I don't know if that came between you and this other person. But now I have you in this position to look out towards a healthier partnership. I feel like all of a sudden you feel like you have a lot to offer to another person. Um, you may have, um, after this situation happened, and it feels like it happened a while ago, um, three months to, to as long as three years ago that this ending happened. Um, it's rather vague, I know. 
I don't think it was up to three years ago. I think it was fairly fresh. Whatever it was, it was the last relationship you ended that was very painful for you. Um, whatever it was, I, it kind of caused you to go within for a while. And there was some insecurities that this situation brought up in you. Um, I think you've been kind of single for a while. And I think you haven't been sure of where to head next, which direction to go next. I think there was a part of you that wanted to wait and see if this person would either come back towards you or to see if you could fix this or reconcile with this person. Um, there was a lot of attraction for you with this person or a lot of love in some way, but something got between the two of you. There was an energy of deception or um, could have been other people's involvement in some way. Um, now I feel like you're ready for something much healthier here, Aquarius. And some of you may be physically relocating or moving. There are a lot of people who find you to be very attractive right now. This Ten of Cups can be a family coming together. It can be marriage. It can be a blended family coming together. I think for a long time you were at a crossroads trying to decide what you wanted to do. There was a lot of emotional upheaval here for you. And it was hard for you to clarify how you felt about this situation or this person. I think that's why you stayed stuck for so long with this Four of Pentacles. This is someone who was kind of second guessing their choices. Whatever happened between you and this other person, I feel like it really caused you to... Um, feel insecure about the choices that you were making. I don't know if this person damaged you by not telling you the truth about something or vice versa, but it left you feeling kind of ungrounded and unsure of yourself. Now we've had a major change and a shift here where you're ready to focus on finding happiness again. And there's someone that wants to spend some happiness, want to spend some happy time with you. And I've got the King of Cups out here now, wow. This is someone who's relearning how to give their heart away to another person. I feel like you're not quite ready yet, though. I think you're still a little bit worried about sharing yourself with another person. There was something about this situation over here that very much, it hurt you very much. But I do have this Four of Wands, which is that Twin Flame 1111 card um, coming out here for you, Aquarius. It can be an energy of marriage. I've got marriage. I've got marriage. Two times. I don't think you're going to be single for that much longer. You may meet this person. Um, I feel like May energy. Um, it feels like you're ready for this partnership. You may end up physically relocating and it brings you closer to this person. I feel like you're the one who has to make some changes here as to some kind of a location or some kind of a moving on with your energy, some sort of, sort of way. This person may be a Capricorn. Um, this situation may lead towards marriage. This person may be a Taurus also that you're, com that you're moving towards. Um, there's a lot of passion here that this person is going to have for you. And this is going to be a major commitment in your life. I have marriage, marriage, marriage. Huh. All right. Um, it has, it's going to come after you let this other situation go. You're going to have to actually physically move on from this situation, Aquarius, whatever this is, whoever this is, I think you're going to have to actually get up and move or get up and go. Um, I don't know that I feel like there are a lot of you who have been trying to decide if you want to, um, pack your bags and move across the country or move house across town or something. I think that's what it's going to take. Um, I think that you're all, um, if this is your reading, you've either already done that or you're getting ready to. I think that you can feel this coming. There is new partnership coming towards you. Again, a lot of you, this person, you're going to be meeting them in May. Um, I don't know why I think that. I just do. Um, but it happens after you make a decision to make a change in your life and to um, leave this situation behind. Yeah? Clear as mud? Clear as mud. All right. Thank you guys all so much for letting me read for you tonight. I really appreciate you lending me your energy. I love you all very much. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all that information is around here somewhere. I love to read cards for you. You guys, I learn so much from you. Every, every person that I meet, I'm so grateful um, to have an opportunity to learn with you and learn from you. Um, so again, thank you very much for letting me read for you. I will see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your weekend.